Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy 1 playthrough. Last time, we had just finished getting the t Crystal of Air to be relighted, and now we are here outside the Temple of Chaos. Let's go inside. Oh, and before I forget, we gained a few levels since the last time we saw each other. I'm now We're now level 33, and we're over, you know, 20... 28, 29,000, 32,000 experience for everyone to get to the next level. Excuse me. So let's go in here. Ah, the crystal's radiance has restored, distorted my speech. Chaos cast a curse on us, turning us into bats. We are sky people. We came here after tracing the root of the world's ruin to this palace. That was 400 years ago. Am I dreaming? Is the light of the four crystals we could not regain? Take those crystals and step into the portal of time. It will take you 2,000 years into the past. The four fiends of chaos were taking the crystal's light and sending its power to the past. Someone 2,000 years in that past is absorbing that power. He is our true foe. Let the light of the four crystals shine upon the black crystal in the center of the chamber. United, the four forces will open a portal to the temple of chaos as it existed 2,000 years ago. Well, you, you, thank you. Gonna have to clear my way here. All right. So we'll activate the crystal here. Shine our light, light of our four crystals against the orb of darkness there. The four crystals were laid over the black crystal. The time of the tide of time advances to engulf all, and the dimensions begin to twist. My controller is vibrating pretty good right now. Just one step further, and you will travel two thousand years back in time. Okay. So that will light. A bright white light. Alright. And we activate the portal there. And now, we are in the Temple of Chaos. Alright, so let's gonna go ahead and dive right on through here. I'm gonna go down to the right here. And take on our first new enemy, the Purple Worm. And the Purple Worm was a cakewalk. That was super simple. Alright, so we're moving all right along here. Alright, now we've got the White Dragon. Ooh! Hitting us with some. Oh. Hitting us with that ice storm. That hurts. Considering that's all they were hitting us with. That hurts a lot. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick equipment check. Yeah, Valley, you are going to put on the ribbon. There. That'll help a lot. You know what? We're going to use the kill 3. Or cure 3 on Valley. I'll give him 2. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Oops. Okay, so we'll go right along here. Onto the next floor, and there's not a whole lot we can do, because there's no entry point to that little room. I don't know if we fought the ice gigas. We have fought the winter wolves before. But I don't know about the ice gigas. Ice gigas is. We'll just hit him with the fire three. Why not? It won't do too much damage, but it'll at least weed out some of the herd, which is nice. Oof, still hitting for hard though. 51. 87. And we're just gonna attack. And then we hit with one. Okay. 602. 
There we go. Alright, 1479 experience and 4704 gil. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. So we're gonna move this way. Again, know where we can go there. We're gonna go this way, down and around. Black Knight. Okay. 50 damage there. It's nice to see that you guys are trying. Q2. Oh, 53. So, we are going to just go ahead and use the healing staff. Is there any other healing items? What about the healing helm? Uh... There we go. Healing Helm. How much is that going to do? Eh, it's my new... Same thing with the Healing Staff. It's not going to do much. That's no heal to body and stretch of the imagination, but it's going to do a little bit. Um, yeah, they don't have anything. I don't have anything there either. I'm uh, just kind of looking to see what if anything else has anything useful. No, nope, not really. So we're just going to go ahead and start using some healing items here. Should be another healing helm. Yep. Oh, of course, it's all for knife. Abdul goes first. But 9,000 gil. And over 1,500 experience. That's not bad. I've got to see the major power player. There they are. Green Dragon. Green Dragon gives out a bunch of experience. But they also can hit you with Toxin. There we go. That's the right choice there. Giving the ribbon to Valley will actually reduce a lot of the damage he takes. Which is great for him. 2034 experience, 10,000 gil. Mind you, that's just two dragons. Imagine what happens if you get like four of the dragons. Um. Yeah, I don't want to use too much magic right now because I don't know if I can use like um, our big healing magics outside of this temple here. There we are. So we're going to pop right on in here. And take on the Death Eye. Um, he's going to cast Stop. Which misses, thankfully. That's a wasted turn of damage for him. Which is good. Because I don't want to know if he hits hard or not. We're going to hit it with some Fire 2, which takes him out. Perfect. But we get one experience and one gill out of it. And every time we walk into this room, we'll have to fight him because he's sitting on that trap, on that tile. But we get 45,000 gill and treasure there. Okay, and this chest will contain 65,000 gill. Alright, we're going to try something real quick. We're only just a couple floors into this massive chamber. We are going to go ahead and... Is it Satari? Yep, she's going to have warp too. We're going to see where we end up here. Okay, so it does take us outside. Perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and just do a quick little cottage here. Okay, you will see if that... I didn't do a lot of healing, so... We're actually just going to hop in the airship real quick. And... I say, I'm going to fly over the Cornelia, heal up, and I'll meet you right back here at the Temple of Chaos. See you in a second. Alright, we're back inside the Temple of Chaos. And moving right along here. We've already talked to the bat, so we'll just teleport back out of here. All right, so here we go again, round two. I'll move quickly along here. Don't need a dilly-dally. 
can't get a rattle on. Okay, now that we made it back on this floor, we're gonna go. Maybe. Okay, so we'll move right along here. Whoops. Now we just keep on moving here. Oops, I did go down. Okay, now that's taken care of. Fuel up. There. Abdul gained himself a level. HP plus 9. Strength up, agility up, intelligence up, endurance up, luck up. Valley gained a level, HP plus 9. Strength up, intelligence up, and endurance up. Satari gained a level, HP plus 27. Strength up. Good HP gain, but not much else there. Okay, so we're going to go right here. There's that death eye again. A stone plate rests on the floor. It se seems to in emanate an evil force. Okay. So we are actually going to go in our key items and play the loot. It's going to play a variation of the original Final Fantasy theme. But it lets us free. So now we're moving down. So now we can explore a little bit more in this area. On this floor, we're just going to go up to the northwestern corner. The healing strategy also works with the dark flans. They hit. They hit a little bit harder than your average Dark Knight, but they also um, have physical, high, super high physical defense, so you can only hit them with magic. So if you hit or let all your mages, or let your black mage attack and hit, let everyone use the healing items, you'd be set. Flan gives himself a level, HP plus 5, strength up, agility up, intelligence up, luck up. Oh, he's used to over 400, experience, or 400 health now. Ooh, both Chimera and Rhinos. I don't think I've seen either one of these. Um, we're going to go ahead and use Ice 3 just because I'm not sure what they're going to be hit with. And... Mm. I'm not sure exactly. took down a couple of them though, so that's nice. It still leaves enough to take out for the warrior. For the knights, excuse me. 3,324 experience, 15,000 gil. That's very handy. We're gonna go here. Uh, check our status here. We're getting closer to maxing out our um, magic skills here. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. And now we're back on this first floor here, where we are going to cross over this way. Taking on a lot of these enemies here. So I am very tired of fighting all these white dragons, so we're going to go this way. Heck, I just ran from the last battle. All right, we're moving right on down here into the Temple of Chaos Dungeon 1. Okay. And this is where I'm going to stop. We're going to go and drop a quick save here. We're going to drop a memo save real quick. Perfect. But we're going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're going to dive down deep through the Temple of Chaos. 
Until next time, I am the Bullmeister, and as always, I have been obediently yours.